Robin is with us in Philadelphia. Hi, Robin. How are you? Hi, Dave. Pleasure to talk to you. You too. What's up? I wanted your thoughts on adult children still living at home. Uh, should they pay rent or should they not? I think I know what you're going to say, but I need validation. Uh, they need a plan for exit. <laughs> I know. Well, there's still, my one is um, going to be going back to school in September, and my daughter, who just graduated with her associates, is hemming and hawing about going back um, next spring. And how old is she? She's 22. Okay. Well, maybe she needs to move out. Well, um, that's, we have started charging her rent. Um, that wasn't what I said. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> I, how do you just do that, though? I mean, I can't just... Well, you don't just do that, but you need to make a plan to do that. They need to leave. Because you eventually, because she's hemming and hawing, that tells me that we're stunting her emotional growth. It's time for her to start making some grown-up decisions. And so, uh, darling, regardless of what you do, we need to have you out of here in six months, and let's start developing a plan to do that. If you want to pay me rent uh, during the six months, and I'll give it back to you at the end of the six months, you can use it as a savings account here. That's fine, but you're going to be on a budget while you're here, and you're going to be working a job while you're here. You're going to be paying your own way for everything, and you're going to be looking at apartments and finding out what electricity costs and looking for a roommate, because you're going to need all of those. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, she does pay her own way. She does have a job. She does all that. It's just we thought it was time that we started charging them rent to teach yeah. them responsibility. Not that we need the money, but we wanted to teach them, you know. Yeah, I, I don't really want to teach them responsibility at this age. I want them to leave. <laughs> I know. I, I do want them to leave. Yeah, but. which teaches them responsibility, by the way. Let me tell you what happened at our house, okay? All three of ours... Uh, one of ours got married before college graduation, and so she moved straight in with her new husband after before graduation and after graduation, which was good. That's Rachel. Mm-hmm. Rachel and Winston got married six months before Rachel graduated. Denise graduated, moved home for three months. Daniel graduated, moved home for one and a half months. Mm-hmm. And um, and in each case, they had jobs, and in each case, we had a plan for them to move on. And in each case, when they started having the electricity for their home deducted from their own checking account and when they went to the grocery store all of the groceries in their house came out of their checking account in every case i watched all three of my grown children emotionally mature over the next 60 days right it changes them right it changes them it's just different when mommy's not there to clean their underwear yeah yeah i know it's good for them Oh, I hear what you're saying, but she pulls up the old heartstrings saying, oh, well, I want to go back to college. and." Well, that's good. You should. Yeah, exactly. While, you're, while you have a roommate and you got a job. <laughs> it's an awesome idea. Okay. so just When did you leave it. home? I left home uh, probably around 19. Yeah. I, I was 19 when I left home to go to college. Never went back. Not sure I was welcome. <laughs> Just but kidding. When I did Not really. Back, I, I, mean, I helped my mom. Yeah, I had to. yeah, yeah. I mean, we were carrying emotional the adulthood around in those in those decades. Yeah, and and, best, and we've got you know time. you know it it, it it it's just. You know, it, the good news is, is you have a good relationship with your kids. And so, you know, you're not calling me up going, this one's coming in here, hell raising, doing drugs and all this stuff. And you didn't tell me all that. This is actually a good kid. They're both good kids. Yeah, which uh, makes my, it harder. My son has given us a little bit of an issue, but he's straightening out now. Yeah, and it, he, it makes it bad. harder, though. I mean, if they're bad kids, it'd be easier to kick them out. <laughs> You know, and yeah. but I'll, I mean, when Denise, the oldest one, moved back home, we love having Denise in the house. She's actually handy to have around. She cleans up stuff, you know. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was awesome having her back, but it wasn't good for her. Right. It wasn't good for her. Right. As much as we didn't mind her being there, and we didn't. We really didn't. But it was just, it was, it, I watched their emotional maturity shift dramatically within 60 to 90 days of cleaning their own underwear and buying their own groceries and paying their own lights. And so if you want to have them pay rent for six months while you're heading towards that, and then you give them that rent back to help them get started, that's fine. Help them get on a budget. Coach them. Show them how to live. Show them how to look at their income versus their outgo. Help them call the electric company for the apartment complex they're looking at and ask what the actual light bill has been. Uh, You know, learn about that. Look at roommates. Help them screen their roommate if you want to. I don't care. Get the cost cut down. But find an old friend from college, an old friend from high school that they can move in with, whose parents also want them to move out. Um, You know, gang up on these people. (laughs) 
<laughs> but, you know, that's the thing. And no, I, we never charged our kid rent, but we did require behaviors out of them that led them to leave. That was the rent that they paid on a budget, looking into the future, thinking, making plans like grownups do. And I'm really glad I did. And I'm really proud of my kids. And that's one of the results or one of the reasons I'm proud of them. So, you know, I, 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 I'm afraid that, you know, your case is fine. You're not, you're not doing anything wrong. It's not craziness in your world. It wasn't in my world either. But we've, folks, we've got a whole society full of these people that won't leave home. And then we have a whole society full of emotionally stunted growth as a result. A bunch of little children walking around in 27-year-old bodies. This is the Dave Ramsey Show.